hello everyone in this session we will continue the, continue the problems regarding the three phase induction motor here the problem is a six pole three phase alternator running at 1000 rpm supplies to a eight pole three phase induction motor which has rotor currents of 2 hs the speed at which the motor operates so here just the solution first write down the given data here what is given a alternator initially we have some alternator alternator is nothing but the synchronous generator it is alternator running at 1000 rpm he, the alternator having the speed of 1000 rpm okay and it will supply to a our required induction motor so this is the induction motor and from the alternator it will take the electrical power okay and he given the rotor values also rotor currents for the induction for the index induction motor he given the things that is it has the y poles okay and just to divide both them both the machines separately and he given the rotor frequency that is the two hedges and the question is to find out the rotor speed so in order to find out the rotor speed what is the formula first rotor speed rotor speed equal to ns into 1 minus s we can find out the ns from here what is ns ns is the formula that is 120 f by p 120 f by p but here we don't know the supply frequency we don't know the supply frequency so to find out the supply frequency he given alternator is six poles and thousand rpm from this we can find out the supply frequency that is here ns of the alternator equal to 120 f by p here it is rotated with the thousand rpm and the 120 here f by six six one ja six twenty times twenty one ja twenty five times 20 50 times then the frequency is 50 h here the supply frequency we will get the 50 h from this induction motor we can find out the synchronous speed is 120 50 by 120 50 by number of poles is 8 number of poles are 8 so by using that we can find out the speed maybe approximately so it is 430 times it is 420 times and 225 times 25 into 30 we will get the 750 rpm this is the 750 rpm so we are getting the speed now we don't know the slip value actually we don't know the slip value also but he mentioned the rotor slip so we know that the relation between the stator frequency and the rotor frequency Theta frequency means the supply frequency. FR means the rotor frequency. So we know the supply frequency is 50 H and 50 H equal to we don't know the slip value and we know the rotor frequency that is he mentioned the two hedges. He mentioned the two hedges. From this we can wind out the slip. Slip equal 50 by 2. So by doing this we can get 0 0.025. This is the slip value from this we can write the rotor speed nr equal to ns into 1 minus s nr equal to ns is the 750 and 1 minus 0 0.025 by doing the calculation we will get the rotor speed nr equal to 720 rpm the nr value equal to 720 rpm okay so whenever he mentioned like this he whenever the alternator connected then first you find out the supply frequency from the supply frequency we will find out the speed of the induction motor from that we can find out the slip so by doing this we will get the answer next problem here a center zero ammeter connected in rotor circuit of a six pole comma 50h induction motor makes 30 oscillations in 1 meter what is the rotor speed so here the solution 
first write down the given data here pole c6 and the supply frequency is the 50 hz okay and induction has oscillations are 30 so whenever the oscillations are given like this directly you can write the rotor frequency that is 30 oscillations per minute 30 by 60 hz directly you can write per minute means okay so from this we can write this is 1 by 2 the rotor frequency equal rotor frequency equal we will get fr equal to 0.5 hz okay so rotor speed so to find out the rotor speed you know the frequency equal to slip times of rotor frequency so here frequency doesn't mention but directly you can take the 50 the slip is 0 0.5 equal to no we don't know the slip value and we know the 0 0.5 from this we can find out the slip value equal to 0 0.01 this is the slip value so by using this we can write the speed value the speed value nr equal ns into 1 minus s from this we don't know the synchronous speed ns is the formula that is 120 f by p here 120 f is the supply frequency 50 by number of poles are given 6 poles so ns equal to 1000 rpm just substitute these values here the rotor speed equal to 1000 into 1 minus 0 0.01 from this we can write the rotor speed nr equal to 990 rpm 990 rpm okay this is the general formula here the important thing is whenever it is the frequency meter or ammeter or galvanometer whenever he directly mentioned 30 oscillations per minute whenever he mentioned the oscillation that time you directly write the rotor frequency in terms of that value then you will get this value next here the problem in a three phase 50 h induction motor the voltage between slip rings at standstill is 50 h and at full load slip is 0 0.04 then the voltage between the slip rings at the full load is so generally we have a relation first write down the given data it's a three phase induction motor it has the frequency of 50 h and the voltage between slip rings voltage between slip rings at standstill we have a condition that is the standstill at standstill that is the 50 volts okay and he mentioned slip at full load it will take the full load the slip is 0 0.04 and the question is voltage between again slip rings voltage between slip rings at full load the question is for full load what is at full load okay yeah so we have a some re relation that is e2 just you take it in a e2 emf developed you can take voltage um, emf developed e2 just we will write you can write a ratio the voltage the voltage between slip rings we can write slip times of the voltage the voltage between slip rings between slip rings yet stand still so we, we can write like this voltage between slip rings at full load then we can write slip is at full load slip is at full load so in order to get the the voltage between the slip rings at full load equal to slip at full load into the voltage between the slip rings so we don't know slip value actually slip he given and he is asking to like this so I am directly writing the slip value equal to 0 
and the voltage developed at standstill is the 50 50 okay so for the full load the voltage developed slip rings for full load directly I am writing 0 0.04 into 50 you will get the 2 volts you will get the 2 volts next problem the stator of 450 volts this is the problem the problem is the stator of 450 volts 50 H 6 pole 970 rpm 3 phase slip ring induction motor is fed with normal voltage the rotor with slip rings are open circuited is rotated at 500 rpm along with the normal direction of its rotation the frequency of the voltage across the slip rings will be so in order to give some confusion he will ask the question is like this so what is the given data the this is the stator voltage supply voltage and the supply frequency is 50 h and supply poles equal to 6 and rotates with the speed is the 970 rpm okay yeah it rotates with the speed of 500 rpm this rotates with the speed of the 500 rpm okay so normal it, it condition the condition is rotor is at slip rig. this is the nominal value is general rotation is it but is the particularly the rotor with the slip rings are open circuited that time this is the speed okay the frequency of voltage across slip rings will be the question is frequency of the voltage across. that means he is asking to find out simply the rotor frequency simply the question is he is asking to find out the rotor frequency but what is the speed you should take this is the norm, normal speed this is the particular slip rings are open circuited this is particularly slip rings are open circuited this is particular condition generally so his question is to find out the slip rings are open circuited that's why we are we should use this speed so for that you should find out the rotor frequency generally the rotor frequency equal slip times of stator frequency but what is slip slip is generally ns minus nr by the ns is the formula what is ns here here ns equal to 120 f by p so ns is 120 the frequency is 50 h p is 6 volts so this is 20 times and speed is the 1000 rpm 1000 rpm just substitute this we will get the slip value that is 1000 minus speed is 500 by 1000 the slip is become 1 by 2 or the 0.5 then the rotor frequency equal the 0.5 into 0.5 into frequency 50 h then the rotor frequency will become simply uh, 5 5 ja, that means 25 hedges 25 hedges okay yeah so this is the these are the different different problems he will ask in the speed in case of slip rings in case of and uh, stator frequencies don't confuse the problems these are almost we cover all the related problems okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you